Okay, our lesson today is all about the levels of biological organization. So this lesson class will help you understand and describe the different levels of biological organization from cell to biosphere. So this study class, um, the biological level of organizations, we need to start with the simplest building blocks of life. Okay, so later on class, we will discuss each of these items, okay, so that you will know the difference between them, okay, and you will understand class how these work together in a certain uh, biological organizations that may happen in our environment, okay, let's start to our next slide. Okay, what do you notice this slide class? Okay, we have birds, we have human being, we have insects, and we have animal, and we have grasses and trees. So I have two questions for you. First, what are organisms? Okay, when we say organisms class, these or these talks about the living forms okay which means which means to say that they are responsible to reproduce they're responsible to breathe they're responsible to multiply in a certain given period of time so in short organisms class those um, creatures who live in a certain ecosystem or in a certain um, environment that you know that reproduce by themselves okay those are organisms so in short these are the organisms the birds the fox and human being insects and any forms of organisms that we can find the in the environment okay another is what makes them up okay human being plants insects and birds they are made up of cells Okay, later on we will discuss about that. Okay, so in short, these are organisms and are organisms made of cells in order to form into a living creatures. Okay, next. Okay, levels of biological or biology organization. Okay. The biological levels of organization of living things range from simplest to the most complex. Okay, we have an organelles, cells, tissues, organ, organ system, organisms, populations, communities, ecosystem, and biospheres. Okay, actually, class, we have here the other one is the atom and the molecule okay those are also considered as a part of biological organizations that mm, that i may discuss later okay now we have the um what they call this one a, a diagram of levels of biological organizations okay first we have atom and the second is we have molecule and next is we have cell tissues organs body system organisms populations community an ecosystem and the last is the biospheres take note class the levels of biological organizations, it would always start from the simplest form of uh, things, which is an atom, and then it goes up to the biosphere. So this diagram class will help you understand the difference between each of the level of organization in our ecosystems. Okay. First we have an atom okay this is how it looks like an atom class an atom has protons neutrons and nucleus and electrons okay 
and this is how it looks like also and please one okay and then an atom class is considered as the smallest and most fundamental unit of matter the bonding of at least two atoms or more forms of molecules now we have another is the molecule okay this is how it looks like the molecule of an acetic okay and this is how it looks like the molecule of the water okay and this is how it looks like last the structures of a certain molecules that can be found in the different forms of um, living things or or matters and then when we say molecules class is the smallest particle of a specific compound that retains the chemical properties of what compound two or more atoms held together by chemical bonds which which means to say class uh, molecules composed of two or more atoms we have hydrogen we have oxygen okay so in that case we call them a molecule okay but we have cell okay this is an example of bacterial cell okay and we have also plant cell okay and we have also animal cell okay let's define first the cell the cell is a branch of biology studying the structure and function of the cell and it is also known as the basic unit of life when we say basic unit of life um, it pertains that our life is started from the cell without the cell we can't survive or we can't um, uh, we, we definitely we can't form okay definitely uh, there's no human being there's no microorganisms and any forms of living things so that is why cell is considered as a basic unit of life okay another is the cell um, some organisms like bacteria protease are unicellular when we say unicellular class um, it talks about one single cell okay when we say uni means one one cell okay and then some organisms like fungi plants and animals are considered as a multicellular when we say multicellular they are made of many cells which means to say human being we are made by trillions or billions of cells okay and this is an example of fungi and this is an example of protozoan okay Now let's move to another levels of biological organization is tissue. Okay, this is an example of tissues. Okay, we have the adipose tissues, we have the fibrous connective tissues, we have the hyaline cartilage, and we have osseous tissues and blood tissues. Okay, another tissue is the heart tissues. This is how it looks like the heart tissues. Okay, and then... We have also the type of tissues. We have the simple squamous, simple cuboidal, simple columnar, transitional tissues, and so on and so forth. As you can see, class, this is how it looks like the structures of the tissues. Okay. When we say tissues class, these are the groups, okay, groups of cells that have a similar structure and act together to perform a specific function and that is called tissue okay okay tissue class uh, comes from the word or from an old french verb meaning to web okay and then there are four different types of tissues in animals we have the connective tissues 
the muscle tissues, the nervous tissues, and the epithelial tissues. Okay, this is how it looks like, the epithelial tissue. And this is how it looks like, again, the connective tissue. And this is the muscle tissue. And this one is the nervous tissue. Take note class, they have different forms of tissues, but they function as one. Okay, they have different forms, but they function as one. Okay. Next is, let's move to an organ. Okay. An organ class is a self-contained group of tissues that performs a specific function in the body. Okay. I'll give an example of an organ. First, we have brain. Okay. Another organ is the lungs and the liver. Okay, this one is considered as an organ. And heart is an organ also. And we have the kidneys. Okay, take note class. Organ are found, or organs are found inside of our body. So actually, aside from these, we have um, human eyeball. We have intestine. We have um, pancreas, so those are organs, okay, that can be found inside of our body. Another levels of organization is organ system. Organ system is a group of organs that work together as biologically system to perform one or more functions, okay? We have our example is digestive system, okay? Why is it these systems are considered as an organ system? Because digestive system composed of intestine, the pancreas, this one is the pancreas here, I know here it's pancreas, the stomach, the liver, the gallbladder, the mouth, um, the salivary glands. So that is why this is called as an organ system or digestive system. Another, we have the cardiovascular system. Okay, it's all about heart. Okay, we also have respiratory system. Okay, we say respiratory system talks about the two lungs when we respire. This one, lungs. And there are many types of systems that are found in our um, organ systems. Okay. Next, we have an organisms. Organisms or an organisms or an individual is a level of biological organization that has existence as a complex, a self-reproducing unit. Okay. First, we have bacteria. Okay. Next is we have insects. We have also monkey, we have also viruses, we have also human being, and the last is we have fish. Okay, these um, living things or these forms of creatures are considered as an organisms. Okay, from the smallest to the highest form of organisms, they are considered as an organisms class because they perform into a complex and they also perform by producing uh, billions or any forms of it. Another is we have population. Okay. Population is the number of an organism of the same species that live in a particular geographic area at the same time with the capability of interbreeding. Okay. We have deer. Okay, This one is the population of the deer, so they are responsible of interbreeding, breeding, which means to say they can uh, mate each of them. Okay, another we have the penguins. Okay, so this is the example of population in the levels of biological organization. Another we have community. Community is the entire array 
population that live in the same location that make up. Okay, community also is an interacting group of various species in a common location. Okay, let's have an example. I have an example of Laguna Lake. Okay, in this um, example class, um, this Laguna Lake, it caters to the different kinds of living things like fishes, water plants, and grasses. So in short, uh, in this area, we can see the different fishes water plants and different grasses in this area class and then all of these organisms comprise the community of living things in the lake okay and then next we have an ecosystem or we call it the biomes the ecosystem is consists of all living things in a given area together with the non-living things okay we have here, these are the examples of an ecosystem in the marine biodiversity, okay? We have mangroves, we have fishes, we have phytoplanktons, we have, what else? We have corals, we have crustaceans, and these are forms of an ecosystem. Another example is uh, this one. We have the trees, human beings. What else? The cycling of gases. We have, what else? We have plants, we have trees, and we have what snails. So these are the examples of ecosystems, okay, in the biological levels of organizations. And then the last part is the biosphere, okay? The biosphere is the part of our planet where all life exists including all of the environments on earth that support life okay this is the entire biosphere okay and then in the biosphere class um, it composed of the atmosphere yes we have the atmosphere here and we have the ecosphere here Okay, we have also the hydrosphere, the water, and the lithosphere, the entire earth. Okay, and then biosphere class, um, where all different forms of creatures of organisms live. Okay, we have insects, we have microorganisms, we have fungi, we have plants, and especially human beings.